Okay, our last speaker is Hashish Takar, co-founder of Atlas Mara. So if you could tell us about your, your new banking platform and what opportunities exist um, for investors and how to engage investors going forward. Thank you. Um, thank you all. It's a pleasure being here. We're a very, very new bank. Um, Bob Diamond, my partner, and I um, came up with the concept of Atlas Mara over two years ago. And we listed on the London Stock Exchange about 21 months ago. So we're, we're a pretty new platform in that respect. Um, in the first year, which was 2014, we managed to do four acquisitions in three regional trading blocks with presence in seven countries with over 450 branches. And we were able to build an amazing management team and we have a fantastic board. This year has been our first half of the year where we've been in control of the bank and we've been running them. And we were able to bring NPLs down, increase revenue, bring down the cost of funding, increase NPL coverage, and get more deposits than loans. So it's been a phenomenal first half of the year that we've been in control of the bank. What's unique about Atlas Mara is the fact that you know, we've tried to create the best of global with the best of local. Bob's experience in global banking has been phenomenal with what he did with Barclays Capital and, and Barclays overall and obviously with ABSA, et cetera. But then his real passion for Africa combined with Mara's expertise and understanding of the continent. But also still being very institutional, obviously being on the London Stock Exchange and having many regulators, yet remaining very entrepreneurial has been something that we as Atlas Mara have been very proud of. And lastly, trying to create the combination of doing good and doing well at the same time. The opportunity is phenomenal. I, um, as Mara Group, uh, prior to setting up Atlas Mara, have been on the receiving side of financial services for about 17 years. So obviously felt the need that the, the opportunity is absolutely huge. And when you think about Africa is not going to be immune to the global situation of that, what's taking place. But when you think about our core fundamentals in terms of real growth, the middle class segment uh, increasing, the opportunity to truly become innovative. I think James and Chegun both touched on this, but you know, our continent has been able to leapfrog in so many different ways from mobile money, which you know, today 42% of Kenya's GDP is pumped through mobile money. But mobile banking needs to be financial institution led and that needs to be the next big wave. So our hope, um, and we're, we are very firmly on track, that we wanna become a positive disruptive force in financial services on the continent. And we don't see ourselves in more than 12, 15 markets, um, and we're already in seven. So this is just the beginning. Thank you. In the earlier panel, we talked about retail products. Wouldn't you invest in these guys? <laughs> that would be great. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.